Hello, happy Friday everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens, and today we are doing some serious nibbage again. So if you saw last week's video, I did my video on the Opus Cineris Harmonic Nib, the gold one, and I alluded to the silver one. And what we're going to do today is the silver one. So there's really nothing to talk about in terms of a pen body because this one I picked up at the DC Pen Show from Annabelle but I got this one I mean she was selling them just as the nib so there's a few differences between the gold one and the silver one I'm really gonna focus on the silver one but let me just talk about it for a little bit so what is the harmonic nib if you missed last week's video I would say pause this one go watch that video and that's my visual cue for myself to remind myself to put in the card to remind you to go watch the video. So hopefully I remember and hopefully I'm not just waving at this for nothing. So go watch the video. These are handmade nibs. The first batch that Annabelle made for sale is or was the gold harmonic and these are 14 karat gold. They have ebonite feeds and what she did was when she sold the first batch of 10 she purchased um, materials and equipment to do engraving and she practiced and like in like two weeks or something something crazy she made more nibs to bring to the dc show so the nibs that she made was the silver one and it's hand engraved and it's stunning so I requested on my gold one a round double broad tipping so she ground it for that um, the silver ones are standard they were cursive italics or are cursive italics and I just okay so I'm just like blown away by this so first of all let me move my camera because I can't see what I'm doing first of all this is a handmade silver nib okay so handmade you can see the engraving. I will put in a lot of close-ups because I have some really nice shots where you can really see it. So you can see where she has hand engraved it and it is a double layer nib and the the grind is cursive italic. Superb beautiful grind. So I'm definitely drying out the nib right now but that's fine. It's okay. It is a beautiful writer and there, this, the feel of a silver nib compared to the gold is totally different. It's quite soft. So if you are someone who's looking for one of these, I would say make sure you don't write with a heavy hand because you do not want to damage your nib. But let's, let's write. Okay, so let's just write. So what we have here is the Opus Cineris. I rotate ever so slightly when I'm handwriting so you might see so instead of writing like this I write like this which is a really small difference oh I definitely dried out the nib um, this is not a nib that skips it is exceptional it's skipping right now because I dried it out and my paper is probably greasy anyway that's fine so this is the harmonic It's an exceptional cursive italic. This is the silver. It is hand hammered. Now, what I want to show you, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It does give a little, so it does yield ever so slightly. And what that means is it feels like a, like a tooth that is slightly wiggly. It's interesting. Um, so with a very gentle touch of pressure, you get a bit of a wetter line. And the nib sings. Some people like that. Some people hate it. It is very smooth. It does not have 
it, it's hard to describe. It doesn't have like feedback in the way that you might feel on a sailor nib or an Aurora nib where it feels like you're just like you're using um, like a, a tiny layer of like graphite, like a pencil almost. This is, it, it, it's a beauty. The italic is exceptional in that it's a cursive italic. So basically that means it's not as crisp on the edges. So it's quite forgiving, but you still get line variation. So still quite nice for like, if you're into calligraphy um, or if you just want your handwriting to look pretty. So let me just write a bit. So with basically no effort, you can have handwriting with added flair, which is lovely. The softness of the nib, not flex, gives you that really nice inky shading, especially with inks that shade well. So gaze at... So what's interesting, what I am doing without even realizing it, is when I put my nib down, I, t I put a touch of pressure and that's typically how I deal with almost all nibs. Like I just put an itty bitty touch of pressure, even if it's a stiff nib. And that just like puts a little blob of ink and gets the ink flowing. This one actually really does not need that, but I end up doing it anyway out of habit. But it's really fun. <laughs> It feels really nice. It's a very fountain pen nib. Like if you're someone who's really, you really connect with your writing instrument, it is a beautiful nib for that because it's, okay, it's handmade. She made this nib and then she hand engraved it and hand hammered it. Like you can see the leaf design on the double layer part. So, I mean, it's just incredibly cool. And if we compare it to the gold, let me bring this up a bit more. If we compare it to the gold, they look totally different. Obviously it's gold and silver, but they have different styles and they feel completely different, at least for the grind that I've selected. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's amazing that to me that someone is making nibs again. So certainly uh, there are other, there are manufacturers who make their nibs in-house. There are um, amazing nib crafters who are doing the stacks. And I really appreciate that Annabelle has made it this far and is, is like, has made it in the pen world where she is making us nibs. So I think the more people making us nibs, the better, because everyone is so creative and, and so brilliant. Like the things that everyone is coming coming up with, um, I feel like the nib crafters, the makers are talking to each other and coming up with new things. And we're just really lucky. We are so lucky to have these people on our side in the pen world. So it's, it's just incredible. It's just really exciting. Anyway, uh, what ink was this? This is my classic Waterman. Okay, I'm gonna try to do, okay, let me try to do some, something that makes use of the cursive. Oh, this is truly hideous handwriting, but whatever. This is Waterman. Um, okay, it's, South Sea Blue, Inspired Blue, or Obsession Blue, whatever they call it now. My bottle is Inspired Blue. I really wish they would stop changing the names and making them worse, but anyway. 
it remains a classic. So Waterman inspired blue. I gotta say, <laughs> um, I certainly use my fountain pens for work. I write articles for Pen World magazine and I will take notes in my interviews. I will transcribe the interview as it's happening at, on, on uh, a computer, but then I will go through it and like pull out the portions that I want to make sure I put into the article. So I use my fountain pens for work. Um, I use them for content creation, for play. Hang on. Wait, I'm going to do this. So some people really hate that. What that is, is the nib is slightly rotated. It's just really cool. It's so cool to investigate the sweet spot and, and explore what the nib can do. And you can do that with all nibs, but it's way more special when it's a nib that has been handmade. So anyway, let me put this back in place. <laughs> um. Hi, mom. <laughs> this is what I do for a living. Anyway, just kidding. There we go. It's incredibly cool. So I'm going to throw in the clips, the added clips of the side shots and like some extreme close ups so you can see the sheer beauty of this thing. And then we'll come back and wrap up. Okay, coming back to wrap up. Wow, mind blowing. Annabelle Sophie Hiller, Opus Cineris, thank you for being in the pen world and thank you for creating such incredibly cool nibs. And I'm so honored that I get to own the gold harmonic and the silver harmonic, which is truly epic. Um, it's a pleasure to get to write with these and I thoroughly enjoy them. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. For me, this is way more fun than a review. I, I love this because number one, I love Annabelle. Wait, one, I love Annabelle or one, whatever you want to do. Um, two, I'm extremely proud of her. Three, I love fountain pen nibs and this is like an epically cool one. And four, I think this will be so good like this is so good for so many reasons like bringing new people into the pen world the pen world is growing the community is growing um anyway i could go on forever what i will say is you should subscribe to the pen world magazine because i happen to know that there's a great article coming out in december <laughs> so you'll really enjoy it i will really enjoy it any hoots thank you all thank you for watching. Thank you for always supporting me. Thank you for your lovely, kind comments and feedback for Annabelle. I did share it with her and I know she was reading through the comments. Feel free to do it again. I think she would love that. And 
If you enjoyed, please like, share, you know the deal, subscribe. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it because it, it makes me feel nice. So, and I'm glad to know that you're enjoying. So it helps, it helps everyone. It's like a win-win. So any hoots, I will stop rambling now because I actually want to just go play with my nibs in private, off camera. As such, take care everybody. I hope you have a lovely weekend or whatever it may be when you're watching this. And we'll see you for the next video.